All right, everybody, if you can see my floating plant there on the top left corner of your screen, you see the T-bar up in the roots right now. Well, that's not supposed to be a floating plant, as you probably know. He has dug the thing up again. I tucked it under the rock the other day, and he somehow got under there and dug it up out from underneath the rock. You can actually see the cavity he's left. I swear it's almost like he does it deliberately. I used to think it was just him in there digging uh, the way a lot of cichlids do. They just sift through the sand or move it around or they dig themselves burrows. If you look over here, uh, you can see in the back corner, he's got it all the way down to bare glass. Uh, if I put more substrate in here, he would just keep digging and digging. And every time I spread the substrate back out, he digs a hole in that corner again. The um, micro swords here, I know that looks like grass, but those are actually micro swords. They're struggling because at first they had the um, brown diatom algae growing on them. It was blocking the light and it was making it difficult for them to grow. Now I struggle with them getting buried in sand from this T bar up here. So I'm going to get in there one more time and we're going to try to tuck that plant a little more firmly underneath the corner of that rock. The small plant you can see there. Uh, sticking out is already a piece that was broken off of this main body right here You can see how it has that sort of one branch. It's upside down of course, but it's got that branch sticking off uh, In what this position would be the top side of it. Well, it had a similar branch coming off the opposite side It was symmetrical and that piece down there is that piece that broke off while I was trying to wedge it underneath that rock. So I'm going to try again and I'll try wedging this other side underneath there and hopefully I'll be able to get it into the soil or into the sand uh, long enough that it'll establish a decent root base before um, he gets in there and digs it up. These other plants were already in here and a little more established by the time he got in so I think they've just got a little more uh, roots down into the sand and that's what's keeping him from digging it up so readily. Uh, that one I recently planted and has not had time to establish itself. So we're going to try again. Uh, sit tight. We'll give you the before. And in a moment here, we will look at the after. All right. I managed to get it tucked under there nicely. I didn't break this branch off. So we do actually have the rock over top of the side branch and then the main body of the plant, the root ball, if you want to call it that is actually sort of underneath the rock so i really think this time is going to be the last time we have to shoot this video of me transplanting this or i should say replanting it uh, because of that t-bar digging it up now i know it looks a little cockeyed it looks like it's sort of growing at an angle that will correct over time it will grow more upwards and towards the light so i'm not too worried about that it'll fill back in and it'll look fine uh, as time goes on sooner or later i'll have to get in there and trim it down and before you know it we'll have forgotten all about the fact that i was having issues with it staying in the ground and it'll just be part of the tank like everything else in there so thanks for watching this one hope you enjoyed if you're not subscribed already please go ahead and do so you never really know what you're going to get with me uh, i've been shooting a little bit of video tonight i did a little bit of a water change on my angelfish tank and a few other little odds and ends so those videos will be coming up real soon so if you're subscribed, you won't miss anything. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you real soon in the next one.